up and welcome back everybody. In today's video, we're gonna be going over the top five venomous snakes in my snake collection. So let's get it started. But we have a special guest. So you wanna know the <laughs> top five most favorite venomous snakes? Stay tuned. In today's video, we're gonna be going over the King Cobra, the Mangshang Viper, the hybrid rattlesnakes, the blue insularis, and the leucistic monocled cobra. Those are the top five venomous snakes in my snake collection right now. So let's get it started. All right, guys. Now the first venomous snakes we're going to be talking about today are these hybrid rattlesnakes. Now these guys definitely made the list because, well, just look at them. They're one of the biggest, no, they are the biggest venomous snakes in this room. And they're some of the most unique venomous snakes. Did now these are a hybrid between the canebrake rattlesnake and the eastern diamondback. Now, as you guys see, they both went to the bathroom. They had absolutely huge meals the other week. So we gotta get these guys out of their cage so we can service it. And the female Robin actually might be grabbed. So we wanna be very, very gentle when handling her because she might have a bunch of babies inside of there. Let's do it. All right. All right, Chandler, you know how it goes. I'm gonna deal with the females and then you take the male, all right? All right. Wait, 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 what? <laughs> these rattlesnakes are relatively chill as long as there isn't food defrosting in the room, but you still gotta be very, very careful when handling these snakes. Now their venom is unknown venom. So if you get bit by the snake, no one really knows what's gonna happen. Oh, you're gonna die. You're like, gonna die. Like times 10. Now right now, I'm using my double hook just because this snake is so big. Get a good look at this snake. Look at the bands around its eyes. I'm trying to keep an eye on that female as well when I'm grabbing him. Massive. Look at that. Massive. Look at Ooh, that. I'll close the cage. Oh, dude, that poop smells so bad. So rank. These guys poop like a great thing does. Mm -hmm. Look mm -hmm. at that. This is Batman. This is actually Tyler Nolan's hybrid rattlesnake. Look at that. Bro. And look at those scales. Wow. They're nice and keeled. This is not a soft snake. You touch this snake and it's very, very rough. I love this rattlesnake. He's one of my favorite rattlesnakes I've ever seen. Look at that rattle, dude. He's literally got about 20 buttons on that rattle. And those of you who watch my channel know that this snake absolutely would make it in the top five venomous snakes in my snake collection, AKA Tyler Snake Collection too. Batman, number five. And while Chandler is handling that snake doing a little dance over there, I'm gonna go ahead and open this holding container. And Chandler, when he's ready, you can slip them all in there. Look at that snake, dude. I love this rattlesnake. So absolutely much. insane. And this is not just a snake you can go out and buy. These are hybrid rattlesnakes. The snakes alone are hard to get. Then breeding them and successfully breeding them and growing them to this size is so extremely rare. Did you know that these snakes naturally create hybrids in the wild and biologists have trackers and two of them and they're tracking them right now, seeing what they're doing, sleeping, eating, where, they're, where are they pooping? What does their poop look like? They're finding out for us. Stay tuned. Now we're gonna go ahead and get the female out. Like I said, she is gravid, or we're almost 98% sure that she is gravid. Even though a lot of people said that you can't breed these hybrids, well, anything is possible. A lot of hybrids breed, and when a hybrid breeds with another hybrid, they call that an F2. An F1 would be an original hybrid with both original species, but then a hybrid hybrid is F2, and then those lineage, if they breed together, that's called an F3 hybrid. Now these right here, these are F1 hybrids. Now these are actually the best kind of hybrids if you ask me. And if you wanna argue with them about it, F you. All right, now when we're handling the snake, we wanna take into consideration where those babies are. Now those babies are in the back of her body, right around here, that's where they're developing. And rattlesnakes actually do not lay eggs, they have a live birth. So one day we're actually gonna walk in here and we're gonna come home to a pile full of hybrid rattlesnake babies. How freaking cool is that? Busting out with babies, boom, busting. Look at that. That female is huge. Now guys, the way we can tell she's gravid is just from how bloated she is on her back section. Now the scales will start to separate and you'll see the skin in between the scales. And that's a good indication that that snake might be gravid. Poop on her tail. Yeah, it's a little, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. We got these hybrids enclosure all nice and clean. Clean. Let's get them out of those enclosures. You yeah. back in. Yeah. All right. Let's do the male first. He's known to be less <laughs> aggressive than the female, so we're going ahead and take him out first. That way, when he's in the cage, we don't really have to worry as much. Sure, you don't want to use my hook, brother? No, no, I don't need that, brother. Come on. All right. Damn! Look at that thickness. I got a sickness for the thickness. Look at that rat. How crazy is that? Would you just look at it? He, he's definitely thicker than my arm. So 
such a crazy rattlesnake. He's thicker than my thigh. You go right into the enclosure. He was supporting the okay. middle and first third where they meet, and then also supporting the last and middle third where they meet, supporting it perfectly, and that's executing a good free handle right there. Good job. Uh, we just call it handling, but I understand you guys know it by free handling. All right, let's get the female out. All right, Chandler. <laughs> I'm gonna let you handle this female, okay? You're gonna let me now. These are the males, but I'm gonna. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'm gonna give you an opportunity to handle a female. <laughs> oh God bless. Oh, God bless. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, I, I just love this thing so much. That'd be crazy if she has babies. Absolutely insane. That's what I'm hoping for. It would be off the Richter scale. Oh, Mamma mia. Shoot. Hold on. Hold her right there. You can see the swelling has gone down a whole bunch. There's just like a little bump for the skin's a little flailed out from when she got bit on the face, but they're immune to their own venom, so she's good to go. Uh, watching the male, making sure he's not looking at me. Look at that fat body in there. The most impressive rattlesnakes I've ever seen with my two eyes. And Stone's two eyes. Whew. All right, on to number two. Let's get it. Woo! Two. Two nipples! <laughs> All right, guys, the next venomous snake we're going to be handling is the King Cobra Shati. Now, this girl right here is the longest venomous snake in the world, the King Cobra. She isn't the longest venomous snake yet, but she is pushing around nine feet long, and she's a beast of a specimen. Now, this right here is a Sumatran King Cobra. These guys are known for having a really, really red Ooh. skin pattern. Look at that. You can see her coming out. Looks like that beautiful. snout's feeling up better. Oh, yeah. And she just got out of shed, so she's absolutely beautiful. Look at those oranges on her neck. Look at that golden color right there. Absolutely beautiful species of king cobra. Now let's go ahead and get her out. We do need to service her cage as well, but we have to be extremely careful when handling this snake. Now king cobras are lightning fast and they like to hood up, they like to strike. And this one right here in particular, isn't the nicest king cobra, but she doesn't look that bad today. So let's go ahead and bring her on out. Look at that, the king cobra. Beautiful. Wow. Yeah, she's healed up a lot on that hood. Yeah. So if you guys didn't know, Shatib actually scratched her hood and her nose on an old vision bowl. So she has been healing. So give her a couple more sheds, about three, four more sheds, and you won't see that anymore. Look at how long she is. She's getting big. She's almost nine feet long. I'd say Rusty is about 12. Whew. I can't wait for the future for all of us to be breeding king covers. That's going to be insane. Now, this snake's demeanor can change in the split of a second, so you want to be very, very careful when handling this girl. Look at the hood on her. Whew. That's a king cover right there. Look at that, guys. You can see her hooding up. And what that hood is, it's actually pieces of bone and muscle that flares up, and that's what opens her hood. She's got a bunch of little bones up there in her hood. Let's get her in that container. She looks not too happy, but such a beautiful snake. Throw her on in there. Woo, Dougie. And my favorite feature about the King Cobras are their tails. Look at how beautiful their tails are. And look, she has that little white scale. I told what? Tyler about this the other day. What? She kind of looks pied. Now that isn't a no scar. That's way. actually a white scale. Super cool. Let's get a DNA sample and send it to the lab. <laughs> Put it for sale on Morph Market. All right, guys, now we're gonna do a little swap. I'm gonna get Chandler the snake up, and he's oh. gonna go ahead and he's gonna put Shati back. So, you know, I love one. this snake. Shati. She's starting to chill out. She knows I'm not trying to mess with her or anything like that. She used to be a lot crazier. She still is kind of crazy, but it's more so like in the enclosure. And then she just chills out. She chills out. Like she's gonna get the defense. Lock, 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 lock. lock. Number one rule, lock and secure. Acid containment, yeah. done. All right, guys, now that was the King Cobra. On to number three, the Mangshang Viper. All right, guys, now over here, we have two Mangshang Vipers. We have one down here, this is the male, and then up top, we have the female. But he got a little bit of dust inside his water bowl, so we have to take him out. Bit. That way, we can service his water. So let's go ahead and do that now. You guys are absolutely gonna lose it when you see this snake. This is one of my favorite snakes in the entire world, the Mangshang Viper, which is also an endangered species in the wild. A protobothrop species, Mangshangensis. Mangshang Viper fat, go. The Mangshang Viper, it's a species we know little about its venom. So hopefully today we wanna get a little bite. Jumpy snakes, now they'll just fly right out of the cage. They'll strike all the way out to here. These Mangshang Vipers 
are absolutely insane. But these guys are native to the mountain ranges of China. This is literally the one snake that's almost bit a bunch of our friends. Right on in here, we got a lion shine vulpin. I'll stick my hand in there. Smaller hook. I might have to get my Mangshan bapper hook for this. I mean, Hold it's on. meant for Mangshan. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. Oh, look at Whoa! that. Whoa! That Mangshan viper Wanna open it? flew She'll come out of that cage. Now, we want to be very careful. Back up because she's going to come flying out of here. Don't worry. I'll protect you, Brian. Look at how fast that snake is. Guys, this right here is the Mangshan viper. Whoo, pissed. Crazy species of snake. Whoo, doggy, look at how close. far she strikes. All right, guys, this right here is the female Mangshang Viper. Now, the females are known to have a little bit darker of a color compared to the males. And if you look at the tip of his tail, it's actually lime green. Whoo! Now, this snake is known to use that tail for what we call coddling. So she'll take the tip of her tail, she'll swing it around like it's a little worm, an animal will come to bite that worm, and she'll go ahead and bite that animal. So this snake loves to coddle animals in the wild. There are mountain species, so you're going to find these guys up in the trees or down in limestone caves in the mountains of China. Whoa. How crazy. Such a cool looking snake. Yeah. But you can clearly tell this snake means business. She came flying out of that log. She was not happy that we had to take her out, but look at that lime green tail. Now this is not a species you want to tell. I wouldn't dare go over there and grab that Mangshang Viper's tail right now. I dare you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and this snake was actually raised from my buddy Tyler Nolan. Now he had these snakes when they were just little itty bitty Mangshang Vipers, and now they're growing into beautiful adult Mangshangs. But this is a relatively large species these main chain vipers can get anywhere from six to nine feet long. How crazy is that? Bro, that's insane. I've seen a video of like a nine footer going over a path and these ladies are walking by and I'm like, dude, look at that. Nothing compares to the main chain viper. Literally a camo species of snake, but they are flyers. So you want to be very careful when you're backed up like me in this corner, because if this snake comes at me, I have no choice but to jump right over her. All right, let's get her in there. That way we can clean her water bowl. Ooh, look at that, man. Wow, the fangs on her are absolutely enormous. Woo! <laughs> Woo! The fangs in your face, boy. <laughs> trailer, trailer, trailer. I'm gonna pass the torch over to you. Hey, it was snatching. <laughs> serious, serious, come on, this is a man Dude, I'm not even gonna get that close. Do you yeah. see her? She's like right there, so. Another thing we need to take into consideration when working with the snake is there is no antivenom that is specifically developed for this kind of species. So if you get bit by this snake, we don't know what's going to happen, and we don't know which antivenom to use. I'm going to stand over here. Look at this snake. What a beast of a Mangshang viper. Kiss him on the lips. Kiss him on the lips. I don't know about this one. Maybe I'll tell a little bit. Here it is. That is wild. Look at that snake. A gem of China. One day I'm hoping all the boys and I go to China and we go look for some. Oh, hoo -hoo. the boys go to China. This snake is also Whoa. known as the Iron Head Viper. Oh, that's <laughs> great. We're cultured. Comment below, what do you think? Hey, I love wonton soup. All right, guys, that main shing is back. The next snake we're going to look at is the Blue Insularis, which is number four. But we're not just going to see one. We're not just going to see two. We're not just going to see three. We're going to see four Blue Insularis. Let's get it started. All right, guys, in here, we have four Komodo Island Pit Vipers. Let's go ahead and grab these puppies out. These are also known. Ooh, they're striking, too. Tremosaurus Insularis is what they call these Insularis. guys. Ooh. <laughs> How about that for some Insularis trailer? Go ahead and get a few ones out. These right here, we're just going to talk about these two while Chandler gets the other two out. These are the blue Insularis. Hands down, one of the craziest venomous snakes you can keep in the hobby. Now, not many venomous snakes in the world are baby blue. And when it comes to venomous snakes, these are actually the only venomous snakes that come in this bright baby blue color. Don't worry, I'm working on it. Well, look at that one Chandler's got. He's got a nice one behind him. It's hard to get to in different spots. There you go, look at that. Woo, did you see that? I believe this one's strike. Guys, how about this? Look at all these baby, well, I should say juvenile blue insularises. Look at wow. that. Wow. Very cranky little one I've got right here. 
They're all trying to strike, actually. Just watch out. And these guys are pretty cool. They'll actually come in green, they'll come in yellow, and they'll come in this baby blue color, which is my absolute favorite. Now, these guys do have a nasty bite, but if you do get bit by a blue insularis, you really don't have to worry about dying too much. These guys, their venom is mainly used for killing frogs and small lizards, so it's not that potent of a venom, but if you get bit, it's definitely gonna hurt like hell. And these guys are island species, so they do what's called parthenogenesis. They can have babies without a mate, so if they end up on an island by themselves, they can reproduce. So if you have just one in captivity, you might end up with babies out of nowhere. Asexual, baby. Mm -hmm. And what is also cool is if you think about it, these snakes are native to the same island as the Komodo dragon. So if you ever venture out to this island, you can find Komodo dragons and baby blue pit vipers. How freaking awesome is that? Bro, I think this one at the end of the hook is grabbing. Look how its scales are spread apart. Yeah, she does. This one has babies. Look, this big one has babies. Oh my, good luck with that. I'm, <laughs> how many snakes can I handle at once? All right, I got three. I think that's enough. Let's go ahead and get these guys in their cage. We did go ahead and change their water and we serviced their cage just a little bit. It really wasn't that dirty, so look at that. Nothing's cooler than a giant bundle of blue and solars. <laughs> Now let's not forget about this guy over here. How cool is that? These guys definitely made the cut for top five in the snakes. That's straight up baby blue, baby. Look at that. Look at that belly on that baby. She's got babies. Look. Woo. Yep. And one of these females actually might be gravid. How freaking awesome is that? All right, guys, let's go ahead and close up that cage and move on to number five. Freaking sick. Ready? Get on your knees. Yes. Get on your knees. Make this intense. One foot up. My knee hurts. Y'all, this snake is number five. The snake we have for number five is the leucistic monocled cobra, nothing other than the famous Kilo. I know, yeah. This one right here is actually Kilo, one of Tyler's favorite venomous snakes, and Ooh. also one of my favorites. Look at that. <laughs> no, those of you who know me know I love monocled cobras. And one thing I love even more than monocled cobras is all my monocled cobras. So let's go ahead and take this boy out. Look at that snake. You know that, buddy? Now, Kilo is a relatively chill monocled cobra. And he's more on the defensive side rather than the offensive side. But you can still hear him hissing like a bull. Now, that's one of these snakes' traits is they're known for a super, super loud hiss. And they're also one of the most common venomous snakes and the venomous snake hobby. But even though they're the most common, that is because they're one of the coolest. These guys right here are some of the best venomous snakes to have. Look at that. Kilo, the Marvel Cobra. This Marvel Cobra is probably my favorite Marvel Cobra in the entire world. He's such a sexy looking snake. Drop for drop more potent than a king cobra being a true cobra. Yes. Now, even though these are one of the most common venomous snakes in the venomous snake hobby, they're one of the most deadliest. Now, a monocle cobra will straight out kill you. Now, my good buddy David Weathers actually got bit by a monocle cobra on his stomach. And he was paralyzed from the waist down within minutes. And then did he have like a great size hole in his belly he that did. shows organs? The venom literally eroded the tissue in his flesh, and he was left with a giant rotting hole inside of his stomach. But look at that, guys. That right there is the top five venomous snakes in my snake collection. Here, hold this. Now Chandler's gonna take this monocled cobra while I go ahead and get some of this old shed out. I can hit up. He's lighting up today. He's feeling sweet today. Woo -wee. Look at that. Chandler's putting on a little show for you guys. Aren't you lucky? Wow. He's a really chill snake. He really just wants to be left alone. And leucistics are different from albinos. So albinos are gonna be more of a pink coloration. Leucistics are either have solid black eyes with a solid white body or solid blue eyes with a solid white body. Leucistics are my favorite. <sighs> like how cool is that? Uh, imagine a leucistic king cobra. Woo, we gotta get some of those. Look at that face, look at those eyes. That's what I love. They don't have those red albino eyes. And as you know, albinos usually can't see well. Such a cool snake. Top five snakes and stones collection. Yep. All right, whenever you're ready, Chandler, we can go ahead 
and throw him back on his cage. Oh, let's look. Look at those scales. Look how beautiful that snake is. He is a pure white snake. Leucistic is the best morph. Whether it's alligators, whether it's cobras, whether it's other animals, leucistic is always Humans! Known. Leucistic humans! Oh, yeah. They might I... scare you at first, but they're beautiful. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, is Kilo, the monocled cobra. Take care! Chandler? This is what I told him. I said, don't kiss it. Don't kiss it. And this is what he does. Monocle Cobra Venom, nasty effects. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of today's video. If you guys enjoyed today's video, if you enjoyed seeing these top five venomous snakes, seeing me, seeing Chandler, don't forget, like, comment, and the most important part, subscribe to the YouTube channel. We'll see you next time. See